In this lesson, we will find the mean and standard deviation of a binomial distribution. About 3% of the population has a particular genetic mutation. 800 people are randomly selected. We're first asked to find the mean for the number of people with the genetic mutation in such groups of 800. The mean, which is also the expected value, is equal to n times p, where n is the number of trials, and p is the probability of success. Well, in our case, n is equal to 800, and p is equal to 3%, and therefore the mean is equal to 800 times 3% as a decimal, which is 0 0.03, which is equal to 24. This should make sense because if 3% of the population has the genetic mutation, we would expect on average 3% of the 800 to have the genetic mutation, which is 24. Let's verify this two ways using Desmos.com. Once on the site, click Graphing Calculator. If we know we're looking for 3% of 800, we can simply enter 3, open the Desmos keypad, click Functions, click Miscellaneous to find the percent sign, and then type in 800. Notice once we type in the percent, the of automatically appears, and we can quickly find the percent of any number, which notice does give us 24. The other way is to find the mean of the binomial distribution. So if we click in cell two, go back to functions, click the stats menu, click mean, go back to functions, click the distribution menu, click binomial distribution. Now we enter the number of trials, which is 800, comma, the probability of the genetic mutation, which is 3% as a decimal, which is 0 0.03, which notice also gives us 24. While we're here, let's also graph the binomial distribution. Let's click in cell three, click functions, click binomial distribution, enter n, the number of trials, which is 800, comma, the success probability, or probability of the genetic mutation, which is 0 0.03 as a decimal. From here, let's close the Desmos keypad. Let's click the Zoom Fit button, which is the magnifying glass below the green circle. And now we have a nice graph of the binomial distribution. Going back to our work, we're now asked to find the standard deviation for the number of people with the genetic mutation in such groups of 800 round to three decimal places. The standard deviation is equal to the square root of the product of n, p, and one minus p. One minus p is a probability of failure, which is sometimes referred to as q. So by hand, the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 800 times 0 0.03 times one minus 0 0.03, which is 0 0.97. Let's evaluate this on Desmos and also use the functions to check our work. Let's click in cell four, open the Desmos keypad. Notice the square root here next to the ABC button. Click square root, and then we have 800 times 0 0.03 times 0 0.97. To three decimal places, we have approximately 4.825. Let's also find the standard deviation using the Desmos functions. Let's click in cell five, click functions, click stats, click stdev for standard deviation, go back to functions, distribution, binomial distribution, and once again enter the number of trials, which is 800, comma, the probability of the genetic mutation as a decimal, which is 0 0.03. And notice how we get the same result, approximately 4.825 to three decimal places. I hope you found this helpful.